this is insane and I don't mean to tell you I told you so, but I had a feeling the entire time this was Odell's destiny. I had a feeling every single time someone said he was gonna go to the Green Bay Packers. I said in every live stream that I'm shocked that the LA Rams are not in the running for this man. So I'm sorry, man, I just got the information. I myself am really excited because this is amazing for football. It stinks for the Packers. We're gonna get to all of it right now. Make sure you sack the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing and turning on our notifications. If you sub and hit that notification bell, you will enter for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, if you wanna notify me of any information. And of course, my TikTok, if you think I talk too much, I do shorts of these types of videos. We drop merch on microphone.org. Now that we got all that out of the way, break! Fonte, a couple weeks ago with the Gilmore stuff, you said you've learned not to get your hopes up over that stuff around here. Where is your hope level with the Odell stuff right now? Yeah, I learned, I learned my lesson with that, but they're up pretty high. I'm not <laughs> Hopes are up there pretty high. Uh, been talking to them a little bit, so we'll see what happens. But um, <clears throat> like I said previously, I don't, I don't expect anything to happen, but if, if it does, I'll be, I'll be hurt. So we, we haven't seen- Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I don't know if this has to do with the fact that Cam Newton earlier on announced that he was going back to the Carolina Panthers. I don't know if that had an effect on Odell. Originally, we thought that Odell Beckham Jr. was going to choose between the New Orleans Saints, the New England Patriots, the Green Bay Packers, or even the Kansas City Chiefs. And there were issues with each and every single one of those teams, in my opinion. Primarily the Kansas City Chiefs, they historically have acquired very high-end talent, but I haven't been able to get the best out of them. A good example is Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon goes to Kansas City. He hasn't really been able to give Patrick Mahomes and the squad the boost that he wanted. Then you look at the New Orleans Saints. Odell Beckham Jr. has ties to Baton Rouge. He was born in Baton Rouge. He went to LSU. And the Saints have a pretty awesome defense, but the problem is they don't currently have a quarterback despite them having a remarkable head coach in Sean Payton. That leaves us with the Green Bay Packers and the LA Rams. And I don't mean to bag on the Packers, man, because I'm a huge Aaron Rodgers fan. I love the man. I love the way the man plays football. I think he's awesome. But the thing about the Green Bay Packers is historically, every single time they've been in the running for a player like Odell Beckham Jr., they somehow in some way shit the bed. And I'm sorry. It just, it's what happens. And it looks like that might be exactly what happened because yesterday we got some information that the Green Bay Packers lowballed Odell Beckham Jr. with a minimum contract. Now, you had Devontae Adams coming out and saying he wanted Odell. You had Matt LaFleur not really talking about it, but the fact that they lowballed him, despite Odell saying that the Packers were number one on his list, might have been the reason why Odell is no longer going to the Green Bay Packers, because according to Adam Schefter, pop. According to Adam Schefter and Papa Ian Rappaport, we got a breaking news update that is set to break the freaking internet. Adam Schefter, and this is the first time I think in NFL history that I've ever seen these two not agree. Adam Schefter says that Odell Beckham Jr. is expected to be a LA Ram and he is finalizing a deal with the Los Angeles Rams. But if you go to Ian Rappaport's Twitter, it says something completely different. In my entire life, I've never seen these two disagree. So it seems like, according to Ian Rappaport, free agent wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. is narrowing down his choices, and sources tell me and Kim Jones Sports, he's currently focused on the LA Rams and the Green Bay Packers. Those appear to be his finalists. Now, Kim Jones Sports also provides us this update saying that Odell Beckham Jr. tells me he's on the fence between the Rams and the Packers. Now, afterwards, I was kind of confused. Maybe Ian's a little late, but no, we got another report saying from the beginning of the process, Odell Beckham Jr. spotlighted the Green Bay Packers and the LA Rams as his top targets. Other teams have tried, but in the end, it's down to two. 
a tough decision as Odell told Kim Jones Sports and the offers are somewhat similar. So this is really confusing. I have never seen a situation like this before where one source that is super reputable says that Odell is going to the Rams, whereas the other source is saying that, hey, I don't know if Odell is going to the Rams. He's kind of on the fence about this. So it's kind of crazy. Okay, guys, so I'm in the middle of editing this bad boy right now. And thankfully, <laughs> I was able to clear up the confusion a little bit as time progressed forward a little bit. So as time progressed forward, the LA Rams officially tweeted out that they signed Odell Beckham Jr. Then they deleted it and then they reposted it. And then LeBron James tweeted at Odell Beckham Jr. welcoming him to LA. Von Miller posted this onto his Instagram story and Adam Schefter continued to say that he is get, that Odell Beckham Jr. is supposed to get a one-year deal between himself and the Rams. Eventually Ian Rappaport comes in and says Odell Beckham Jr. is signing a one-year deal with the LA Rams. His deal is finalized. LA loads up after Odell makes an incredibly difficult decision. So here are my thoughts on this situation, man. First of all, if you're a Packers fan, I'm so sorry. You guys missed out on Stephon Gilmore. I really wanted to see Aaron Rodgers get a target like Odell Beckham Jr. Put him next to Devontae Adams. It seems like you guys never get that big name free agent. And this would have been really cool, especially because OBJ came out and said, hey, my preferred destination is the Green Bay Packers. And when I hear you initially said that, and when I saw that the Rams weren't even in the running, I was so confused because this is such a Rams-like deal. A former superstar wide receiver that you don't need to over pay they would easily have given up draft picks for odell beckham jr if they had any and if they could have fit his salary but that wasn't the case obj became a free agent and now he's able to join an offense that features robert woods cooper cup tyler higby matthew stafford and the brilliant mind of sean mcveigh meanwhile on the defensive end you guys already saw the rams went out and traded for von miller to pair with aaron donald and jalen ramsey I was shocked that Odell Beckham Jr. from a business perspective, just from wanting to be in a large market like Los Angeles, become the superstar that he once was, in terms of what he meant to the world off of the football field, I'm surprised that we didn't hear LA was in the running from the very beginning, because my prediction was the Los Angeles Rams the moment he got released, but sources never indicated that's where he was going. Now, as time progressed forward, I'm sure once Odell Beckham Jr. thought about it in the lens of just football, I don't mean to bash the Packers. In terms of a total football team, the Rams are way better than the Green Bay Packers. And I'm not trying to say this because I'm from Los Angeles, because the Rams aren't my top team, the Cowboys are. But if you look at the Rams offense and defense, yeah, I, the Packers have Aaron Rodgers, who's a tremendous quarterback, one of the greatest of all time. And of course, I will take Aaron Rodgers over Matthew Stafford any day. But the Rams, let's say if you want to downgrade the Rams offense a little bit, they have a tremendous defense. That's a team that could make a deep Super Bowl run. That's a team that on both sides of the field, they're 100% set to make this run. They're in a large market. It's just what makes sense for OBJ. I'm glad he made this decision. I don't think it's as hard as he would have said so. I didn't mean to take a shot at Packers fans because I know they're hurting already, but you guys have to admit, man, outside of Jair Alexander, your defense stinks. Now, here's another thing, and I don't mean to stretch this even further, but I said in my previous videos, and I said this in my live streams, that this was the Green Bay Packers opportunity to show Aaron Rodgers that, hey, we are dedicated to getting you good weapons on your offense, making you enjoy your time as the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. And they fumbled it, man. Like they offered OBJ a veteran minimum, a player that literally wanted to go to Green Bay. He ended up going to a team that initially wasn't even in the running from the early reports. It seemed like, it seemed like this was for the taking for them and they fumbled the bag. And I'm sorry if you're a Packers fan, man. Let me know what you guys think about all this. And if you guys want me to live stream, comment down below, we could go live. I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.